Hi everybody, long time no video, sorry about that, but just wanted to show you, these are a couple of the seedling trays I planted two days ago, I'm getting ready for spring, I leave them out here in the sun during the day, and then around about 3 o'clock when it starts cooling down, I bring them inside, um, we have got a few of them starting to sprout, you'll see these little guys over here, um, that's wormwood, the Chinese wormwood. I've got linseed and I think the amaranthus, the golden amaranthus over there, the little pink. I don't know if you can see it, tiny little pink shoots coming up. Um, I will keep you posted on all these. I'm going to be doing a lot more. Um, I will join that video to this video. Okay, so this is my workstation, newly built by my husband. Thank you, dear. Um, these trays are watertight and then each seed or two batches of seed will go in the in a seedling mix um, I use very fancy these are for name tags they're just old yogurt tubs that I've cut and I write with a permanent marker so that I can throw away when I'm done with them and I've just got like a whole lot in there with my permanent pen so basically what I'm going to do is fill all these singular tubs almost to the brim um, with seedling mix I will then wet the seedling mix just to make it moist then what I will do is sprinkle the seed in type the name on the name tag stick that in where it is to be grown so that I can keep tabs on what I'm trying to grow and I will be doing so there's two of the mini growing trays in each of these so it's two four six 18, 12, 14, 16, but I have, sometimes I have more than one seed type in there, so quite a few. Most of these are herbs, um, especially with the things in the world today, um, I want to be able to have a lot of medicinal plants around me um, to give to friends and family as well. Um, excuse all the noise in the background, but with the situation in the world a lot of people are working from home it's music to my ears but it might not be to yours anyhow oh and my chickens also singing but my husband's sense of humor but um i will come back to you once they were planted and set out so we can discuss which is which hi guys i just want to give you an update okay so you can see where the two white tags are that's where two separate types of seed have been sown. So I fill the tray with a good seedling mix, not sand from your garden because that will compact down and actually just strangle the seeds. They need a light, um, good growing medium. And then what I do is, is I wet it with some water. I use um, tank water, which is rain water. You can use tap water, but Rainwater is obviously far better because it doesn't have the chemicals that they use to treat for human consumption. So I wet it down nicely. In fact, it's quite wet that you can see inside the tray there's water. That's not a problem. Then I write out the tags and I place them where I'm going to plant each type of seed. Then I sprinkle or I embed the seed. It depends how big the seed is. I'll make a hole in here for each seed if there's only a few. Otherwise, I'll just sprinkle them on top if they're fine. Sprinkle a little bit of either vermiculite you can use, um, river sand, or just the same seedling mix. I use the same seedling mix, and um, I give it another water, and then I place the tray. So it's not a difficult process. It's actually just simple and repetitive. Okay, peeps. So I have done all my planting. As you can see, there are two trays. One, two, per tray with no holes and each tray contains two different types of seed um, reason for that is a lot of them have really tiny seeds and I'm going to um, prick them out and um, yes Lydia we can see your hand prick them out and replant them or transplant them um, I have got rhubarb and tansy over here loofah and Thai basil then I've got I think that's the gold giant yes gold giant agaste and joe pie weed mullen very good for your lungs 
another Auguste. Let's see what this is. Um, oh, that's Heather Queen. Then I have got, excuse the bride, but this is where I put them for the sun. Forget me nots and yarrow and yarrow and fever few. Very good for fevers. Then I have got um, long, the long eggplant, you know those ones that grow long and not fat. Then artichoke, globe artichoke, very, very nice to eat. Um, I've got more of the amaranth giant, and I'm just trying to think what I, I abbreviate and then I forget. Anyway, I'll, I've got the tag. So this is forget me nots again, and cinnamon basil, tooth eggplant. This is bergamot purple. Let's go around the other side. Whoops, I'm trying not to trip. It's very difficult for me. I'm always tripping. I've got false indigo and red chicory. This is um, chamomile and cinnamon basil. Fever few again, and this is Chinese wormwood, bergamot purple, and the agathosma pink again. So most of these are used or usable as treatment for herbs, medicinal plants, besides the eggplant and the artichoke, which I we eat. Um, I have got um, vegetable seeds planted elsewhere, but I just wanted to show you my process. So now this will stay out here in the sun um, until about three o'clock when it starts cooling down. Then I just come and I just push these tags down like this, and then I'll take this tray and put it on top of that tray, that tray on top, 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 stack them inside, and in the morning, I unstack them and then I bring them out here again and they start to sprout it just depends on what seed and um, the size but they start to sprout like this is linseed which I will prick out once they've got these true leaves they haven't got the true leaves yet here I've got calendula which I've got tons in my garden already um, the wormwood which I could just you can just see the little green. I know the leaves are a bit of a distraction, but there is green there. Um, and then I'll just have a look. Something else coming up. Um, there. You can just see the little... Let me get my shadow in there. You see the little pink stalks. So those are coming up. Um, I did see some white sage germinating. Um, excuse all the camera work. Um, sort of all over the place but um, yeah so I will just keep you posted on what's going on um, looking forward to spring I must say um, I like winter for the the cooler um, parts but I must say I like spring because everything's green and coming up but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and um, tune in for my next one keep well keep safe